Why is the US placing multiple sanctions on Huawei and China's tech? Everything that needs a computer or that is digital runs on chips. And the reality is we don't make very many chips in the United States of America. Restricting the sale of chips that Nvidia designed specifically for the Chinese market blocked China's access to highly advanced semiconductor technology. What I have here, these chips, these... We have to protect the American people against China, period, full stop. This is China's 7 nanometer chip in the Huawei Mate 60 Pro. And this is Apple's 3 nanometer chip in the iPhone 15. To put this into context, Apple's 7 nanometer phone was released around 2018 in the iPhone X Max. In recent months, there have been lots of tensions between the US and China on the production of semiconductor chips. Most of these sanctions only made it possible for China to have access to the older versions of the semiconductor chips despite Taiwan being the leader of semiconductors in the world. Now to give you some context here, semiconductors are the materials needed to make chips which then powers fridges, electric cars, supercomputers, AI products, mobile phones and even fighter jets alongside many other electronic devices. Hence the tech wars between the United States and China. So if you have been wondering what has been happening during this war between the US and China and how Huawei recently made the US really confused, I'll break it down for you in this video. I'll help you understand how important semiconductors and chips are to our daily life and of course the reason why every global power wants to be in charge of controlling the production of these chips. By the way, I appreciate if you can hit that like button for videos like this every week and of course your like also helps to boost this video for more people to be able to see it. Now we'll announce the multiple sanctions on chips by the US to China before the Huawei Mate 60 Pro had put China about 8 to 10 years behind the global chip advancement despite China being the highest market shareholder of semiconductors. In 2022 alone, China made up the largest share of semiconductor sales with 185.5 billion US dollars. But then China's recent chip development through the Kirin 9000S powered by a 7 nanometer chip brought it closer to about 3 or 4 years which is really close but still not as close as that of the US which powers the iPhone 15. Now millennials, we need to understand that Apple's iPhone 15 uses the latest 3 nanometer chip which is the fastest and most advanced phone chip used in any mobile phone across the globe as compared to Huawei's 7 nanometer chip which is not as close as that of the iPhone 15. And again, the US even placed bans against China on Netherlands ASML which is the sole supplier of high-end EUV lithography machines which are required to manufacture the most advanced chips in the world. So due to these multiple bans, ASML can only supply less powerful DUV machines to China which is really sad when you think about it because I ask myself what is the reason for placing all the bans but then I'll explain to you the reason why the US is actually placing all these multiple bans on China thereby restricting them from getting all the latest and advanced chips. But then millennials, here's where things get really serious. Due to all the multiple bans and sanctions by the US on various countries and on China from getting the latest advanced chips, China had to figure out its own way to start creating these chips, reason why they started with the Huawei Mate 60 Pro and that is what scared the US most. Yet again, the only sad part about China producing their own chips is that they can only produce 5 nanometer chips which is not as advanced as the 3 nanometer chips produced for the iPhone 15 in the US which definitely means that China's DUV lithography machine can only produce 5 nm but not on a large scale. But then here's where things get really serious. What scared the US most isn't even the Huawei Mate 60 Pro but the fact that China has their own lithography machine which lets them produce some chips and after breaking all the chip down and analyzing it properly they realize this seems to just be the beginning. If China has achieved the 7nm and 5nm chips it definitely means that they can now go even further which is very risky according to the United States. Now this leads me to one of my first questions in this video. Why are the multiple sanctions being laid on China against the chips? Why does the USA not want China to have access to the lithography machines? Why does the USA not want China to have access to the semiconductors, advanced chips for the mobile phones, for the fridges, for the AI tech? Well, according to US Secretary of Commerce Jenna Raimondo, she said the reason why the USA is placing all the bans and sanctions on China against chips advancement is because they do not want China to use the chips in the fighter jets or in military equipment which is really strange when you think about it. Now in this case I have to ask you watching this video what's your own take on this point because I believe the USA has got access to all the latest tech and chips which is used in the military tech and more. And now the main problem between these tech wars between the USA and China and the multiple sanctions are not just affecting China alone but it is also affecting 
all the semiconductor producers in the USA. Just like Nvidia and a host of other companies who all have China as the biggest customer, can you imagine all the multiple restrictions making it difficult to be able to sell to the biggest customer? Because as we all know, China is one of the biggest users of chips in the world. They mass produce a whole lot of tech stuff from electric cars to AI tech, which is another angle where the US Secretary said there's no one China to misuse the chips in the AI tech. The truth is that the world is advancing with AI tech. The world is advancing whether we like it or not and there have been so many different personalities running against the restrictions on China's chip advancement. I've made it very clear that uh, this is a highly complex uh, you know, issue. Several countries are involved. It's not just between the Dutch and the Americans. Because that only pushes China further to think of other ways to produce these chips and advance their tech, which would then be very disastrous for the companies in the US who are focused on production of these semiconductor chips. Now we should know that China is the world's largest consumer of semiconductors and they even accounted for a staggering 53.7% of global demand in 2020. When you think about it, it's crazy because it clearly shows that China is the biggest consumer of semiconductors. So if there are all the restrictions worldwide, how will all the companies that produce these semiconductors be able to make money from their biggest consumer? And that exactly is the reason why Nvidia alongside other companies have been trying to circumvent all the restrictions by making less advanced chips to be able to supply to China. Which is really sad when you think about it because all those restrictions are definitely holding China back and of course slowing global advancement. Reason why so many people have been asking this question, isn't it better for the whole world to advance together rather than and one country holding back the other and guys the truth is that due to all the multiple semiconductor bans and sanctions on china by the united states it has now put china behind chip advancements against countries like the us south korea japan despite china being the biggest customer of these semiconductors and even in 2022, the Biden administration still went ahead to place more restrictions on China which restricts them from getting all the technology or even some technology for them to be able to access the latest advanced chips. And even when the initial sanctions and bans were still not working properly, they went ahead to enhance more bans against China even for AI chips. Now as we all know, artificial intelligence is becoming more and more relevant in our world today. And of course, it is very clear that whoever controls the initial development of AI today will control the future. And of course, to be able to secure a strong base in AI means harnessing the latest semiconductor chips. And that's what China is trying to do. And the USA is definitely restricting China from achieving that. Reason why China has been looking for other options to have access to the advanced chips. One thing the US keeps stressing on when enacting all these sanctions and bans is that they are trying to ensure national security and also trying to ensure that all these chips do not end up in the Chinese military applications. What do you think? Do you think the reason for all this is to restrict economic growth or to avoid China from using all these chips in their military equipment? Again, I think the reason why China took the bull by the horn is because they were sick and tired of the multiple restrictions laid by the USA on China and of course on all the companies that deal in lithography machinery and the production of semiconductor chips. So China has been thinking out of the box, reason why they developed the 7 nanometer chip which was then used in the Huawei Mate 60 Pro. And that definitely got the US confused and scared because if China has achieved that level of chip production, then what else can they expect? And just so you know, millennials, Huawei and SMIC are both on the US blacklist, restricting them from buying technology from America. But despite all of this, semiconductor producing companies like Nvidia keep on trying to circumvent all of these rules because of course, they are a business and they need to make some money. But due to all these multiple restrictions left and right, it is making them lose a lot of money and they might just go out of business because like I said already, China is the biggest customer of these semiconductors. When we look at all the happenings left and right, it is clear that all these multiple restrictions and bans are clearly slowing China down in the AI race and advancement and of course in the chip and tech industry. But then, it is just slowing China down. It is not stopping China because as we have seen so far over the past months, all the multiple restrictions just seem to be pushing China to think out of the box. And when China begins to think out of the box, we can clearly see what happens. 
So who knows what might happen next? No one knows. We all keep our fingers crossed and hope for the best. So that leads me to this question. What do you think about all the multiple sanctions and bans on China against the access to advanced semiconductors or the access to lithography machines? Do you think it's a good idea? Do you feel the US is doing the right thing by placing all the restrictions and not letting China have access to all the latest tech despite having the biggest market share in the use for this latest tech? Well, I'll let you answer that. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to see more amazing videos like this weekly, don't forget to like and subscribe. Remember, this is Willen. See you next time.